Good morning, good morning. I hope you are doing well and looking forward to the long weekend. Okay, it is all one long weekend. But it is a very unique Shabbos for us because on the one hand it is Rosh Chodesh and of course it's Shabbos. Whenever you have the combination between Rosh Chodesh and Shabbos that means that there's a very positive energy about. But what I noticed about the Shabbos, and I hadn't thought about it before, I think it's very positive and reassuring, is that it's a double Torah portion, which means we read Tazria. Tazria speaks all about illness. It speaks about Tsaras, which was the biblical illness. And the direct result of that was that you had to avoid contamination. People had to inform other people of their medical status, and they had to go into quarantine for an extended period of time until eventually they were purified and allowed back into society. Which brings us to the second parasha. The second parasha, which is Mitzorah, talks all about that process of how the people were able to heal and how they were able to be reintroduced back into society. So usually we read the two portions separately, as if to say one section and one whole story is the story of illness, and a different story, a separate section, is the story of healing. But when the two of them come together, as they do this year, the sages teach us that what that means is, firstly, that there's no delay between the illness and the healing, but secondly, and probably more importantly, that the healing is contained within the experience of the illness. In fact, the mystics tell us the Alter Rebbe, the first Chabad Rebbe, writes extensively about this, and the Rebbe talks about it in detail too, that any time a person has something which is a challenge in life, particularly if it is an illness, particularly if it's the kind of illness that causes social distancing, in other words, separation between people, then the way that we heal it is we have to acknowledge that what Hashem is doing to us is offering us an incredible opportunity. He's introducing change, He's introducing a new light, a new lease on life, and the quicker we open our eyes to see and to embrace that reality, the quicker the illness heals. In other words, as soon as we start to open our eyes to the lessons, then the teaching doesn't have to persist. So that's really the deeper meaning of having these two parishes together, is that within the experience, within the difficulty, actually that's where the brocha lies and that's where the solution lies. It's particularly powerful this year because it's the first day of Rosh Chodesh, Iyar. And Iyar, the sages tell us, is an acronym for Ani Hashem Roifecha. I am Hashem who heals you. So please God, the brocha that we all ask for, is that as we go into this new month, every new month has a new energy. And particularly when we go into this new month, with a Torah portion that is all about healing, may Hashem send healing to the world. The wisdom to the scientists who are trying to find a cure and a treatment that they should in fact find it. And more importantly, the healing of all of us, of our lives, of the, the way that we've been living that now has been called into question and that we have to reassess. That we should all heal, our families should heal, our inner self should heal. And most importantly, Hashem should heal the whole world in totem by sending us Mashiach now. A good Shabbos and a good Chodesh. Stay safe and stay sane.